Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. Uh, this is a pre-expo vlog. Tomorrow morning at, um, what time's my flight? <laughs> that's a good question. Actually, that's a very good question. I think it's 20 to 9, I think. Um, fly out from Edinburgh down to Birmingham. Uh, tomorrow, Vape Expo is business to business on the Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, it's open to the public. And there is a ma there's a ton of vendors, exhibitors, mod makers, blah blah blah. It's all going on. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. And I, as always, and I make it no secret. I mean, I really enjoy Vape Expo from the social event. The the event they lay on is is jaw dropping. I mean, kudos. I mean, it real. It's not my kind of thing. Um. It's a lot more American, shall we say, but it is, you know, it's something that has to be seen and experienced. So, you know, ah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm more in a field talking to people rather than boom, boom, boom and waltzers and all that kind of stuff. But uh, you can't take away from it. It's a great event. Um, if you're going, um, say hello. Um, just, yeah, hello, and, but say who you are, please, just introduce yourself, don't just <coughs> come up and call me a fat tit and then walk away, if you're going to insult me, at least use your own name, yeah, it helps, these little things in life, um, now, uh, this vlog this week was brought to you by, and once again, I'm on the cloned Milky Ways, um, what are you going to do? Uh, actually, this isn't uh, from these guys. This is from these guys at 9 o'clock this morning. It's now got uh, a sachet latte inside there. Yes, I drink lattes. Um, what can I tell you? Uh, right. So, aside from Expo, um, what's going on? Been a strange week. Very, Actually, a very, very quiet week. Um, not a lot exciting going on well that's a lie um exciting yeah things have moved about a bit behind me uh mainly because of that that thing there now sorry if you've heard this all before i'll bore you to death now so the thing was i bought a printer maybe two years ago now be as long ago as that maybe not i bought a 3d printer it was a i forget what it was called it was a cube um and it was meant to be plug and play you know you just put your spool of filament in it load something onto it and it'll print it off and it'll be awesome no no it wasn't awesome it got sent back very quickly um and then after that i got uh another one uh from norway i think it came from who oh God, i can't even remember the name of it now or who made it this is shockingly bad preparation before your vlogs mr todd um, and it was very good. It was actually worked extremely well out of the box. Um, I try to remember the name and it's just gone. Um, John Malcolm, if you see this, put it in the description and say which one it was. Uh, but once again, it was one you just lifted out the box and, you know, went into your splicer software, put your file onto an SD card, loaded it onto the machine, and it would, nine out of ten times, it would print it. Um, it was a really small build plate on it, though. It wasn't a big build plate. And uh, there was things that I wanted to print that uh, I couldn't. So I decided that I wanted to go and buy a 3D printer and build it and get to know how the parts all worked. So I bought an Anet... Um, a8 from China. It was something like £130 delivered. I then spent the best part of two days. Well, I didn't. I spent, I think it was about eight hours I spent building it. Then I probably spent another ten times that long uh, calibrating it. And then once it was all calibrated, then I started printing off print, print, prints, prints to upgrade it. The learn as a learning experience, it was brilliant, but um, you really had to spend a lot of time upgrading it and tuning it to get really good prints from it, which you could do. So I hadn't used that for a while, 
and then things happened and then um, this now you've heard me talking about Mark Mark White uh, who did the, the battery dispensers that I showed you um, and the, the little locking mechanisms for you know squonkers so Mark has that so I bought that second hand from Mark that's a, a Prusa um, Mark II and wow this is it's a bit, brand new they are expensive in the grand scheme of thing in 3d printers they're not expensive but for a filament printer like this um yeah they weren't cheap i, sh I wish i'd bought one at the very very beginning uh, but i was being a tight arse at the beginning uh but literally mark brought that over um showed me how to set it up properly which is incredibly easy um no that's that's not fair mark knows what he's doing he came over and showed me how to set it up and made it look incredibly easy so when i actually got it into the shed it had been set up calibrated everything um and the very very first thing i printed <laughs> here is it was this look i printed this the the quality on this for uh, a little muppet like me so the the box design was shared with me by a man with a beard i'll say no more than that and i just put my little shed life thing on it there in tinkercad and started printing it and it's you know it's so it just that's a little fire button push it there and away it goes um and the door i mean it does have the holes for the magnets there but it's actually it's tight enough that it holds it on um i, ca I can't tell you how i was like a dog with two tails yesterday running about in this shed and it's not a very big shed um in fact it's a very small shed but so i wasn't running about much i was kind of jumping up and down in one place um it's just to to make something from scratch now i did that uh, build your own squonker video which was so much fun and and i've seen so many people out making their own now and that is just brilliant to see it really is i think the thing that sleds did was getting a, an enclosure out there for 10 pounds 10 11 pound um was an amazing thing for people to be able to just buy that it came with the button it was all pre-cut and and basically just threw in your contacts and away you went that was a brilliant thing um so this is mine so if you'd like to buy one of these for 350 pounds um and i will lick each one and i'll let tj play with it in his basket uh, 350 pounds just x1 in the comments below and um, i'll make sure that you have to pre-order wait for six months and i may send you one um a <laughs> oh, cock <laughs> um no just great it's just brilliant the thing is the print quality from uh from that is just incredible i mean this is i printed this off for karen uh, last night because i just wanted to show her that i could print something and, and that's a, a 3d vase vase and and it's, it's just brilliant that took ages to print that it really did but you the bottom of it is so smooth and and the print quality is just jaw-dropping and what else were printed i mean it only arrived yesterday afternoon uh, and, oh, I printed off a, a battery box, an 18650 battery box, to, just to pop some batteries in to take to Expo. So, a little slidey bit up the top. Doink. I lowered the quality on that so it would print off quicker, so that just took a couple of hours to print that. But, but when you compare it to, um, I mean, this is what Mark prints off for the, the Runt Mods group. Um, look at the difference in size. <laughs> <laughs> this is massive um but i made it and 
I spent most of last night mucking about with Fusion 360. Um, yes. I am having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. And, and it is loosely vaping related. Um, it is loosely vaping related. So we'll go left to right here. Let's, shall we? Let's. Um, so, working my way around. Let, let's start right. First things first. Um, e Phoenix sent me on some toys. So, I now have 510 drip tip adapters for the Resurrection V2. At last! Um, but they also sent me on. Uh, they've got different top caps for the Resurrection V2 now. So they've got that one. So that was that was the standard one. That. So you've got that finish as well, but you've also got that finish as well, the black. Now, <laughs> look at that. That's a squonker. So this is a new squonker that's coming out from E Phoenix. Um, that's actually that's I got to pick the block and they made a drip tip out of the same block which was just awesome uh, this is single 18650 it's 80 watts uh, I'm on a 0 0.4 ohm coil at about 35 watts just now um, I really like the Resurrection V2. I know Dean, uh, Vaping V1CK got one, and I know Dean got one to play with as well. I reviewed it a while ago uh, because I'm a, obviously a very famous vape reviewer, and um, they're not. Uh, no, uh, the, the, they've got them. The one thing I would say about this, and I said this in the review as well, for me, um, if you don't get... I find if I don't push the coils, build the coils, push the coils down. If I don't, then I find I get a mouthful of juice, spits and all the rest of it in my mouth. Push the coils down. Brilliant. Absolutely love the Atty. And the mod's not half bad either, but there will be a review coming for that in the next 10 days. And in that, goose juice. Goose juice. Um, so, there we go. We've got that far. Now, what also... Ha arrived today, which I didn't know was coming. I didn't know it was coming, so it was a bit of a surprise, to say the least. Um, was Vapor Skull VSC uh, Vapor Skull Customs in Japan? Now I've Masa. I've shown off his tube mods and some of his atties in the past, um, but. Now I called us. I, I st I've turned down a lot of reviews for three D printed box squonkers because I can just make them now no because there's so many of them um, and and this kind of arrived and I was like oh no but um, this is a, a Delrin box so a 3D mech once again this is called the Vermin uh, now he did send on a stab wood plate for me and there's also a stab wood button there as well uh, it normally if I can get into the box, it comes in a big box like this. Uh, the button is uh, clear normally, and and that's the normal door that comes with it, that little cobweb one. Uh, but it's all um, silver plated contacts inside. It's expensive. It's Two hundred dollars. That's it. It's two hundred dollars. Uh, Vapor Skull Custom v VSC. You'll find them in Facebook. But the one thing I will say about it is, see having the switch there uh, and the squonk bottle there. I love this. I love the firing switch in that location. Uh, that's the Narka. Ka 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 ka. Uh, that goes up for sale this weekend, I think, or is it tomorrow? There's going to be about 65 or 70 of these go up for sale on the Narmods Facebook page. And if you're not already in the, the Facebook group, then you, you've, you're stuffed, basically. Um, you're stuffed. Sorry. I love it. So... 
So that's that's actually a really really nice little mod. That um, it is expensive. There's there's no two ways about it. It is expensive, especially in this market. But it's it's really, it's nice. Sorry, it is nice. Um, moving along. Now, I got a, a mech mod sent on to me that uh, it's getting awfully cloudy in here. Um, it's about to get cloudier. Um, but the mech mod, they sent on coils with it as well. Um, alien core coils. These. Now, now my eyesight is shit. Uh, it's not the best. Um, where are the coils from? The coils are from a company called VK. Uh, dot com forward slash hedgehog I think hedgehog I think that's it but uh, these coils are uh, now I'm sure they've missed out a one somewhere they must have done because this says 0 0.08 ohm should that be 0 0.18 surely that's not 0 0.08 <laughs> that's just nuts that is just nuts um awfully nice looking coils but the chances of me using them are pretty slim um however i did get sent on um this so here we go the l thunder really could do with some acdc going in the background just now that would just the l thunder the thunder um so this is a mech mod and it is from, because I've actually just opened it, um, co-founder, uh, lthunder.ru, it's a Russian company, they do have uh, resellers in the EU, um, City Vapes, uh, City Vapes are selling them, uh, but um, I'll just I'll show you it just now, but this is gorgeous, this is gorgeous. Now, okay, the, the L Thunder branding is not necessarily my kind of thing, but it has a serial number around it. But the thing I really loved, I've got to, it actually says this in the description. So I'll I'll actually do this just now, just for, for shits and giggles, um, because this is apparently what it's for. Um, <laughs> I just thought that this was a good a good idea for for for. You know that where it says L thunders there's that recess you know for actually just gripping it when you're firing it but apparently what it's for is for your favorite fanny bands now you know how much i like fanny bands you know the fanny bands that everybody puts around their tanks well that's what that is for so sorry gadula but uh, there we go no bullshit smoke no smoke i knew i'd find a use for one of these fanny bands uh, so that that's what it's for uh, that's for putting your favorite band in uh, but this is this, this is this is a low build this is a 0 0.1 ohm build sorry uh, that's the Watofo thing the um, thing the, from Watofo. i can't remember what it's called uh, but clouds for days um, it, it's got a really interesting switch though so if I unscrew this so it's brass inner um, and there's the battery but it's got like this big spring so your battery just sits on that and just doink makes contact with that so that just kind of that's just going to kind of like sit in there that screws on it's got like that stone finish on it. It's such a nice finish. And just pushing the button. Lovely throw on it. Performs really, really well. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I've got to get that band back off of there. It's not going to come off now. Um, <laughs> don't want to be seen with one of them. <laughs> really. If I meet you at Vape Expo and, and and we're talking away and I suddenly start laughing or giggling and whatnot, it's because you have fanny bands on your mod or your tank. 
I know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an elitist vape snob. From ah, come on, get off, get off. Here we go. It's going. Here we go. See, that's much better. It's much better because you can fit that in there and just. And that's that. Right, moving around the table, what's next? Now I reviewed that, you probably can't see it just now, but the Athena, I still stand by that review. I absolutely love this setup and I think it's great. Um, I think my battery's on the way out. It's a really good little mod. <laughs> it's just, yeah like that a lot of time for it think it's worth the money uh next on the table i have a uh, yes for when i <laughs> this actually always sits uh, right in front of me it's usually it's usually here or here but it's always within arm's reach and it always has a charge battery in it uh there we go that's my caravella now and uh Giova, genova genova i can't remember how you pronounce it it's gone um, it's just a little 186350 mechanical with a little Joytech Carto, eh, not Carto, but head in there. Uh, six milligram nicotine in there, and I just, this is just, see, when I'm just chilling out, this is what I, I vape away with. Absolutely gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. Um, next on the table, oh! Nata! Nata! Portuguese custard tarts, gorgeous. Um, this has become it's uh, goose juice uh, is my all day vape has been for many years. Um, Nata has joined it. Um, I do like uh, this one as well. That's another favourite. Um, but because I have quite, I've bought quite. Uh, no, that's a lie. That was a lie. I take that back. I didn't buy my goose juice. My goose juice was sent on to me as a gift. Uh, that was sent on to me as a gift. So um, that's coming with me to Expo. Also coming with me to Expo is from Mark Lemon Crack V2. Um, this is a bit more citrusy, this one. But I told you about it the past couple of vlogs. But this is just... <laughs> it's just clears the sinuses it's just amazing and i really like adding some of this to my custard uh, it's quite enjoyable um moving round, there is nothing else that you should oh i did listen i did get sent some other stuff um i never showed you this i might actually take this with me to expo this might be my uh my my sneaky vape That's the Anakin uh, T20S. That's the kit. Um, that. The Endura T20S. I think that... And I will probably say this at the end of the year. But I think that the T20S is possibly my favourite. I don't think it's full mouth to lung. But it's close. Uh, my favourite pre-built head tank of the year. I think the flavour that comes out of this thing is just brilliant. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to... Yeah, that'll be my carry-on. Right, put that there. Doink. That'll be staying in my pocket. Um, what else have I not... Yeah. I've got the drop. Uh, I've been vaping away with the drop from Digi Flavor as well. But they also sent on the... The Siren V2. This thing. Um, and they sent on the... This is the 24 one. They sent on the, the, other, the smaller version as well. But I've only built the 24 mil version. Um, sorry. Flavor's not not all that. This is proper mouth to lung. You can proper mouth to lung this. But the flavor from this. Same liquid and so on. Same kind of build and blah, blah, blah. Um, this pisses all over the siren. The siren flavour of the Berserker was far, far better than the flavour from this. 
that's the 24 mil version i don't know what the other one's like but if you are after once again this is just my humble take okay watch other reviews but for me this is not the best flavor mouth to lung that i have come across uh, no sorry um but that's just my take on it um go and ask other people um coffee right vaping wise um i think do you know i think that's it i think that is it um now here's the thing why did nobody nobody think to tell me about um wolf alice right i, I sat and watched train spotting 2 uh, a while ago and uh, it was okay uh, a huge fan of the first film the second film didn't really live up to it but Wolf Alice had a song, a track uh, through the film so I got their two albums brilliant band, really love it and uh, what else have we been listening to? Uh, oh, Kasabian's last album as well that's what I've been listening to mostly this week I've not really been using the record player Record player, big vinyl, yeah, you put vinyl thing. Anyway, you know that joke. Um, so that's what I've been listening to mostly. Watching, um, watched a film last night, Wheelman on Netflix. It's pretty meh. Uh, wasn't that big a fan of it. Um, what else? I was watching Inhumans. Meh, it's all right. Um, Marvels and Humans, it wasn't that great. Uh, what? Oh, I was watching something that I was really still loving Discovery, uh, the Star Trek new season, um, a bit of Lucifer, and I watched another film. I can't remember where it was now. It'll come back to me. Sure, it will. I'm going to bore you to death about cars now. This will be a quick one because I'm trying to get um, the odds and sods out of the way before I get to the, the big ones because there'll be a There'll be one big video for MR2s, had a lot of them, an awful lot of MR2s, and then there'll be one for all the other Jap import cars as well, Supras, GTOs, and things like that. Uh, but the, here we go, right. Now there's one that's missing that uh, I can't find a photo for it just now, I don't know why. I had a BMW E46 330Ci. Um, which I bought directly after owning this. This is a Mazda RX-8, which I have to say was beautiful interior. Absolutely beautiful place to be. I thought it was a gorgeous looking car as well. I, I liked an awful lot about it. Handling wise, it was as close to a Mazda MX-5 as I've got in a car that big. So you got the, the MX-5 driving experience, but in a bigger car. Uh, the only problem with it was, I'm, those of you that drive VTEX and things like that, um, you'll know you're used to, or motorbikes, you're used to driving right up the rev range. Uh, this revved right up to 9,000, but nothing happened until you get up to close to 9,000 revs. Daily driving is just a snooze fest. It really was. It was a motorway driving and just driving from A to B was pretty boring unless you were prepared to rag the tits off of it, which it's designed to do. It's built that way, you know, that so thrashing it is good. It likes it. I'm just not good at driving like that. So that is why uh, I'm afraid that the RX-8 did not last that long with me, even though I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, another odds and sods one was this. Um, I had a, now this is a Bangle special. Uh, that's a Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbo. Uh, I always wanted to own one just because it was I don't know, there was an itch that I had to scratch. Um, I had a, a chip to it as well. I think it's a, is it a G-Tech chip. It gave you about another 20 or 30 brake on it. Uh, now the only thing with this was that <laughs> it was 
front wheel drive. Boo! Nearly all my cars are rear wheel drive or four wheel drive. Um, that was one of the few front wheel drive cars that I owned. It felt like you were stirring porridge with the gear stick and the when you floored it, uh, the, uh, the, the, the front end just kept doing that. Uh, torque steer and inside, whilst beautiful, I mean, it, I thought it was a stunning looking car inside and out. It just felt not very high quality, to say the least, which is a shame. So I didn't actually keep that one for long either. Um, I didn't keep that for long either. I'll tell you what, there's, where's, there must be a couple of other odds and sods that I've forgotten to show you. <laughs> that poor wee guy. Um, that was a mini city, was it, when I got it? So I had to put a new, new panels, wings, front, fr um, the whole frame at the front had to get changed out. Um, I ended up giving that away. Uh, I gave that away because I just ran out of time, patience. I didn't want to throw any money at it, so I put it on Gumtree and said, if anybody wants to play, come and take it away. So they did. Somebody came and took it away. Uh, I don't think that, that there's nothing else that I'm going to... I showed you the golf, didn't I? I showed you the golf. Yeah, I did. The Scoobies, MR2, ah, there's a load of crap to come. Anyway, um, uh, so I mentioned the Geek Vape Athena, and I did the Tank It uh, by Steam Tuners, which I really like. I really like the Tank It. Uh, the Raffle. The raffle that was, uh, it wasn't a raffle. Yeah, it was a raffle, I suppose. You bought charity tickets. Uh, so the total amount of money that went to Mind um, in the UK was over £1,500. Thank you so, so much to everybody that pitched into that. £1,500 was an amazing total for one mod and one Ate. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, if you're interested, there is another raffle up just now for some Jack Vapor gear that, and the money for that will go to Dogs Trust uh, for that one. And I've got a Just Given page set up for that again. That's that one. Um, and that was it for review advice. Um, the, the, it'll be quiet next week as well uh, because a lot of the gear that I've got, I've not had for long, so... I'll not be testing it straight away. <laughs> There's nothing I can review much next week. I don't think. Because I'll be coming back from Expo. Um, yeah, I'm going to be kind of stuffed for reviews for you just because not having things long enough to review. Um, but that's it. Sorry. Um, there's nothing else I can cover unless I wanted to dive into vape drama and bullshit and banter and all the rest of it, but there's plenty of other people to cover that crap. Um, guys, have a most excellent weekend and please, once again, if I see you at Expo, you see me, uh, come and give us a shout, say hello and introduce yourself and, um, and that's that. Have a great weekend and I'll have to find a button to push here. What button did I push again? This one. Bye-bye. Bye for now.